since I was just a kid, my dad was a guitar player. But, um, you know, I just never really connected with an instrument, you know. But it was a spiritual thing for me, too, and I just knew in my knower that I was supposed to do something, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and even as a child, I, I just spoke to God, give me something you know, to do, and I'll always use it. Yeah. You know, in the right way and tell people about you and things like that. And I had a desire, an overwhelming desire to play guitar. And, and I never had before, you know. And so it just kind of took from there. Six months later, I was playing solo in my church and, and I kept playing and practicing. And then I started playing rhythm guitar in my church. And, and we had, um, obviously it was the center of our lives, our church, because I, I was from a sort of depressed area in Jacksonville, Florida, close to the shipyards, and uh, so that was the center of our lives. Jacksonville had three Navy bases, mm -hmm. and a sailor came in and was doing this, finger-picking. Yeah. And so I, I, I watched him, he played my dad's guitar after church, you know, and it was on a Sunday night, I'll never forget, and I ran to my mother, can, can we have him over, you know, for a meal? And, and so we did, and he showed me some basic things of finger style. We're still friends to this day. There were three guys growing up, and my dad had all their records, Les Paul, mm -hmm. Chet Atkins, and Merle Travis, those three. And then others came after that, Jerry Reed and Lenny Bro, and I got into listening to more jazz and things like that. But uh, but those three, and I played with all of them. I had a chance right. to meet them and, and play with them. Yeah. Um, and uh, played with Chet and Les on stage, which was a real treat to do that. And I have to say, I liked every one of them. They were all great. Yeah. I called Barry, the sailor, and I said, thank you once again for coming over to my house when I was a boy and spending one afternoon, that's all they ever spent with me, just, and they shipped him out for one day. Think how, how important it is to go and spend some time with a young person and just show them a few things. That's why I put free lessons on my website. You know? Well, I really enjoy being in front of a crowd like this tonight, in front of guitar players. And I had done that for many years. My, my wife of 43 years, she said, I thought you re retired from all that. I said, well, I did too, but I missed it so much, you know. And uh, when I met Robert Godin, it was just triggered all that back and brought it all back. And he said, I want to send you around the world. And I thought, well, I've done that. I've been around the world playing. But you know what? I really loved it too. I loved doing it. And here I am again. So it's a dream, a dream come true. So I want to continue doing this. Uh, talking to a fellow in Nashville about doing more television, uh, working with guitar players and really promoting the instrument. And I really want to promote live music, people playing and uh, getting involved with music and people investing in music. That's why I'm here tonight to invest in, in their gifts and see the value in the gift of music. <laughs>